Okay. So. So I'm gonna, I got a photo of the. Uh... Alright, so I got a uh, little video, a little photo I took of the uh, explaining the meanings and also the names of some of these. Uh, it's only the, uh, the the very specific Japanese stuff. I don't know what it is at all. So let me pull this up real quick. So uh, this first one, it's called uh. Nick, I'm gonna mess with these pronunciations. Okay, accept that. Uh, Nagai Mamori. Uh, it's a so the charms themselves mostly are from the same place. It's a Fushimi and Nari uh, Tensei shrine or Fushimi and Nari something else shrine. It's beautiful though. But um, that was the one like the big tour. Well, actually, you know what? Visual aid about this. This is uh what the tour gates look like, right? Like it's it's this right here. So this is pretty sick. I, I want to buy some hooks uh, that'll stick to the walls. Nothing that will like damage it, and stick that on my walls around here so I can display these. But I bought a little wooden tour gate. It's it's wooden. Um, these are all probably handmade, of course, and hand painted, which is amazing, by the way. Um, that's really cool. And um, but here's the uh, charm I mentioned. It's got it's uh, it's good for hanging around. I think you're supposed, you're supposed to keep it with you. Um, you know what? Actually, fuck it. Let's do this properly here. Uh, one sec. One sec. I got this. And let there be light. There we go. Better, better. Sick. So, we have this here. Oh, God. Yep. So, we got this here. Uh, pretty sick stuff. Um, pull it out. It's a little shiny in there oh it's sealed okay yeah it's got the back side of course got some characters on there looks pretty sick um pretty cool uh this one in particular like it's pretty nice um we have another one these are all from the same shrine and that place was obsessed with foxes ironic as I, I mean fox so it's perfect but um this one here has the uh this is a, a pretty cool one too this one's for exams this one is supposed to wish you like Give you luck in your exams, so it's pretty badass. Um, I don't know if there's parts to it that you uh, I'm trying to avoid having a glare on everything too. There we go. So that's pretty cool. But yeah. So um, and I know there's like a middle part inside. It looks like the fox thing is wrapped around it, but I'm assuming it's supposed to be like that entirely. So just leave it as is. Just a guess. Anyways, that's what I think. And next we have. I'm going to look up the name for this one really quick as well. This one is... There were a lot of these guys. I gave one to my mom because it's it was for exams and she's doing college. So, you know, perfect, right? The love is setting sun. It's a smoking gun. It's a four-letter word. I hope it hurts. This song's pretty lit. Uh, I can't find it. Shit. I forget. But this one was for uh, your earnest wishes coming true. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got a little image of a of a fox stitched in there. It looks like pretty cool. It's pretty glossy, slimy. These are all sealed, of course, which I might want to keep them that way so they last longer. Honestly, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. I like the uh, the background, like the yellow around it too. Like just the uh, this this labeling and stuff. The packaging alone is pretty sick. But it's just a little thing you keep in your uh, keep on not on your person, but like if you travel with a purse or a bag. Or in your car, uh, stuff like that. Something that you keep with you a lot, pretty much. And um, my lucky Passimo card. This is something that's pretty awesome. It's what you used to get around. I wanted the Suica card. There's two, Suica and Passimo. Suica is the one that has a little penguin on it, and you can use it at uh, vending machines some. This one works on certain ones, but it's a little limited as well uh, on where it works at, unfortunately. But it looks pretty, pretty nice, you know. Um, not as cool with the graphics. It's just a, a bus and a train. I think it's a train. Just buses. I don't like the uh, images, but it, it served its purpose greatly. And it's got 2,000 yen on there. I had to return it to get my money back. But if I returned it, I didn't get the money back and made it empty. I couldn't keep the card, though. So I kept my balance on there. So next time I go, I got to spend less money. It's only like 20 bucks. So it was something I could afford to lose. Next, um, next is one that, uh, ironically, this happened because, uh, 
I was actually leaving Tokyo. I was in my, at my airport trying to leave, and uh, I got there really, really early. It was uh, probably an hour and a half before my flight. Just I want to make sure I didn't get left. <laughs> that would have been horrible. But uh, I got this for answering a bunch of survey questions about how I enjoyed my visit, how much I spent, what I bought, stuff like that. It's a little Mount Fuji uh, sticker thing. I think it's a sticker. I'm not sure. But it's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, Shouts to the lady for being really nice and asking me those questions because I gotta keep her. I gotta get another little gift. And uh, see you again in Japan. So I guess it means I'm coming back. I don't know. I didn't climb Mount Fuji, so I guess that's good. But yeah. So also, yeah, visit the Japan channel. As it says, visit that. That's pretty cool. Um, for you anime fans out there, I didn't get a ton of stuff for it. Um, I just saw. I like posters and stuff like that. Um, I'm very particular in what I like. But I like – my friend got me to Code Geass probably – I'd say like a month and a half ago. Also, if you guys hear the game music, let me know. But I got these two things for Code Geass. It's a, uh, a lanyard, which I can pull out actually and unwrap and stuff. And C2 is the best character in the whole fucking thing. So I got a little a little can badge, a little badge, which is pretty cool. Nothing crazy. Um, like these are perfect for controllers for Smash. So I was like, okay, this will be cool to, to keep. For that so you know I did that this is a pretty sick lanyard it looks like it's got some cool stuff on there if you look at the uh, designs and stuff on it it's pretty cool but yeah um waiting for it to kind of focus on it a little bit yeah looks pretty cool though and it's got the uh, it's got that label there and it's got the, the hook and everything it wasn't too much it was actually it was it's 1500 yen so 15 bucks not too bad and uh, I don't know if this is like it looks like the logo for it, maybe. So, Kogias. Focus. Focus, camera. Ah, focus. Okay, fuck you, camera. Whatever. But yeah. Um, so, these are cool. So, I got this. And, um, what's next? Let me see. Oh, yeah. So, as you know, if you, well, if you do know, you might not know, but hey, um, uh, Tokyo is going to be the location for the Olympic Games next year, uh, 2020. So if you need good eyesight, go there. 2020 vision, guys. But I got these. These are the uh, the mascots for the Olympics for the two cities because it's in two different cities in Japan. And uh, so they got the mascots here. And uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know the names of the cities, like the districts. I think they're for different districts. I'm not sure. But uh, it's pretty cool. Interesting would zoom in. And focus. Man, fuck you. Fuck you, webcam. Fuck you, webcam. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, just, you know, sponsored by Visa on the back. Nothing crazy. Just regular old stuff. But these are keychains. So, pretty sick. They weren't completely put together. I just had to put the, uh, the character itself, like the little circle, in the, uh, ring. That was no problem, though. It's pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah, it's their own mascots. Um, if you went around there, you would see a lot of, uh, like they had big plushes you could take photos with. Um, People in the suits, like, doing stuff. Um, shoot, it was, like, I mean, they were, uh, the first thing I saw when I arrived at Nuria Airport, once I, the welcoming area, was uh, a wall, like, the two walls with the entrance in the middle, and each wall had the character on there. It was pretty sick. Um, also, another thing that's pretty cool, they love these things called capsule machines, right? You get these things here, like, there's stuff in them. For about three to 400 yen, Behind the objects? Yeah, I'll do that, actually. Yeah. See, you know this shit. What's going on? You know what's up? Let me do that real quick. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Holy shit. Hell yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, so that's our, our first character here. And then our second one here. So that's pretty sick. And uh, I got these on the uh, Tokyo Metropolitan Tower, which was uh, really, really... It was on the top floor of the Observation Tower. Um... I forget how many floors up it was, but it was, like, these weren't too expensive. They were worth it, so I'm glad I picked these up, for sure. Also, uh, again, so capsule machines, like I was talking about. Uh, you go to a, it looks like a, a vending machine, like, arcades in the U.S. Um, all these little arcade machines, like, you put the coins in, you, you uh, get a gumball, or you get a little toy. Well, these are commonplace everywhere. And what's even better is, the, uh, the cities, well... Or whatever they're known for, they'll probably have a like if they have a mascot or whatever, they'll have a capsule machine with a bunch of different products and stuff and toys featuring that that mascot or 
whatever they're known for. So the U.S. would probably have a lot of fucking oranges and shit like that. Well, Florida would. So this one is from the uh, from uh, Kyoto, the area near the shrine. So, I mean, you can't really see anything in there too well, but it's a little fox mask, which I'm going to open up so you can see it better. So let me open it up real quick and not hurt myself, hopefully, or break it. The thing I did, I... Ah! See? Okay, we lived. We're good. So, this is pretty sick. I like this. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so there's this. It's a little mask. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna see if I can... I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it for you guys, actually. Because I'm gonna, you know, hang it up and stuff. It's not like a little, um... Keychain. It's a little, it's a, it's got a hook on there, so you know. But um, it itself is not a keychain. Keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on running. Man, this is hard to rip. What the fuck? Gotta whip out the scissors. Oh my god. Man, y'all watching me struggling right now? Ah, there we go. Slick. Good. Yeah. So. And these were, I, I didn't have enough 100 yen coins. They only took 100 yen coins on these machines, which is the frustrating part. But, uh, yes, yeah, so that's pretty sick. So this is cool to hang around somewhere, probably. Yeah, they had foxes, all sorts of ones. And they have a little book in there that'll show what else they offer. Let me find that real quick. Here's a little book of all the little masks and stuff. So I got a bunch of little masks and stuff. It's pretty sick. So lots of different designs and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know which one would have been my favorite. I think I, I think the blue one is my favorite, like the one I got. There's some cool ones, you know. So pretty sick. I think there's some of the pink ones because it was, you know, this the uh, the cherry blossoms are blooming and everything. So maybe for that. But uh, everything else was sick though. What else? Yeah, man, that's cool. What you eating, by the way? Hopefully it's good. <laughs> Jason, my name's not Jason, yeah, this song's not about me, it's about this guy named Jason, I wonder if he knows, people writing songs about him, and how he's insecure, oh god, oh god, I'm trying to put this back in this little baggie real quick, even though it's kind of torn, it's all good, because the, uh, the presentation was pretty lit. Yeah, there we go. Back in there. Sweet. And uh, what's next? Oh, yeah, this one. So it's pretty cool. Um, oh, I enjoyed this a lot. So this, uh, I basically, the logic behind this is I bought more dishes so I wouldn't have to wash as many because I have new dishes. But uh, there was a Hard Rock Cafe in Japan. I didn't know. So I went there. Uh, and they had some Japan-only products, stuff that's only made in that store, well, for that store. But also for only only their stores in Japan. I don't know if there's any others uh, in Tokyo specifically, but I'm assuming there isn't. But I got this. Try not drop it. Got this here. It's pretty cool. Um, it's uh, they're all probably hand drawn. I really don't know. I didn't probe them for questions, but it looks pretty cool. It's a little saucer. I'm not gonna use it for food. I'm gonna use it because it looks cool. Well, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna display it and stuff. But uh, it's they're they're only sold in Japan and they're made there, which is pretty cool. And um, there's a little thing in here explaining what the kind of pottery it is is, which is right here. So if you want to read that really quick? It's pretty sick. It's uh, but that'll pick it up hopefully. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, it's a uh, Hasami ware type of Japanese pottery from Hasami Nagasaki Prefecture with history of 400 years. Uh, beautiful contrast of underglaze cobalt blue, which you see the blue. Uh, special design. Yep, so you can only get it at that store. So that's pretty cool. So old style of pottery they've done for a long time. They used it to make these, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to definitely keep this safe and not use it for when I want to eat nachos and whatnot. So... Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good, I think. Um, can I go wrong with your boy motherfucking Sylveon, though, bitch? 
This dude looking nice. He's excited to be here for the stream. I gotta find a home for this guy. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. Uh, he's got little feet as well. Little feet. So he's adorable. Adopt the Sylveon guy. Save all Sylveons. Hashtag save all Sylveons. Uh, I got him from the Pokemon Mega Center along with uh, I forget what else I bought actually that I've shown off. But uh, if you want to see some cool stuff? Little the little sticker there. Pokemon Pocket Monsters. Pretty cool. Um, can't read none of this probably. I I sure couldn't because I don't know all. I don't know more than just a little bit of Hiragana unfortunately. But uh, yeah, he was he was worth the money. He's pretty cool. He's got his little uh, <laughs> he's got his hook still. So he's He's as if I just bought them, but yeah. So, tons of these. All the uh, evolutions I think, were being sold. Like, pretty sure they were. Tons of plushes. So, if you're a plush person, you want to display these guys because they're soft and whatnot. Oh, yeah. I'm not big on these, but he'd be cool to have in the background or, you know, chill on the stream in my place while I'm gone doing something. So, he'll be the mascot. He's pretty sick. And uh, what else we got? Cheese wontons, sweet and sour chicken and rice. Damn, dude, you're eating so good. What the fuck? So this is just the box. I'll have the actual product in a second. But uh, so um, this is a this is uh, Mewtwo Strikes Back comes out. I don't know when, but this is the box. I bought a mug from the box itself, which it's got some cool fucking art on there. Looks really really cool. Um, I'm loving the artwork on it. That's that's just a, a label. But yeah, that's a label. Check it out. And uh, that's pretty sick. I like that a lot. Um, just it looks cool, so I'll keep the box around, and that's nothing. So, yeah, looks pretty lit. Mewtwo's badass. Um, and here's the actual mug, which uh, should be safer uh, washing dishwashers, uh, dishwashers and stuff. It looks sick though, but um, looks nice. Oh god, I keep missing the center. Okay, so there's that. It's got some artwork on there. It looks pretty uh, pretty cool. Let's see if it'll focus on it real quick. There we go. So it's it's got some cool stuff going on. Uh, lots of flames and shit. So it's pretty cool. So it's a cool design mug. I like it. Looks cool. Um, Mew and Me Too on the front, of course. Looks awesome. But yeah. Um, so this came in the box. It, it's pretty sick. I credit this with my win at the local because I guess I just had that Japan Me Too power up. I don't know. Because I've been play I play Fox, obviously, with my overlay designs and stuff. I main Fox and Smash. Well, I decided I was tired and I didn't really want to go too ham. I was like, I mean, I'll try, but I don't expect to win because I, when I go Mewtwo with my friend's house, I get fucked up. Like, I've had no ex good experience with them. So I go Mewtwo and I actually end up winning the bracket. I end up winning my first weekly and ultimate uh, against a lot of good good players, obviously, because the only one that wasn't competing was wombo combo which he would have been hard to beat too obviously i don't think i would have beat him as well but i beat everybody and i won uh with me too so i don't know maybe there's something to him i don't know but that's pretty cool so cool ass mug shout outs to japan for the me too power up um there's a little story to this but i this is probably the reason i lost my grandmother's camera i lost my grandmother's camera in japan somewhere it's in akihabara uh, I wish I hadn't lost it. I'm so sad about it. I feel so bad. Um, it wasn't a super high-end camera, which is good, but still, like, losing someone's camera is horrible, right? Well, so I went to this restaurant. It's called um, uh, Karaoke Pacella. I forget the exact name of it. It was pretty cool, though, but there was a few of them. I tried, tried to find the right one because, uh, which, again, uh, uh and Cryptid Knight, you know about this. Um, Rising of Shield Hero. That's a pretty sick anime, right? Well, this is a restaurant that will be themed after games, anime, certain ones. And they'll announce when it is. It'll last a certain amount of time. Well, before my trip, they actually announced that they would be uh, – Shield Hero would be the theme through April. So – and that was before April. So my trip – I left April 9th. I'm like, holy shit. It's during my trip. I got to go. So I tried to make sure I found the right restaurant. I didn't go the wrong one. All that good stuff. And I managed to get there in Akihabara. Had some cool stuff. I got some photos from it. But uh, when you bought a one of the uh, themed uh, items off the menu, you got a little card, like a little postcard, I guess. So I got this. This is pretty sick. So this is one of the many ones they offered. Um, I could have bought more, 
And I was too worried about the camera at the time to really go shopping and stuff. Nothing on the back. It's just a blank card, but it's pretty sick. So I kind of want to frame this or keep it somewhere. Uh, make sure it lasts a long time. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, definitely one of my favorite anime I'm watching right now. Pretty sick. It's one of the few things I could buy that was Shield Hero related because they just didn't have merch for them around. But they had merch for everything uh, for the most part. Like, it's hard to figure out the logic for what they had, uh, you know, um, merchandise for. Because some stuff I've never even heard of or was a popular, I think. If anything, it's popular in the States. But there was merch for so much stuff. But Shield Hero just didn't have anything, really. If anything, they had figurines, figures for everything, but not Shield Hero. So... I was trying to get like um, some stick, not stickers, but like magnets or um, keychains, something to hang, like maybe a nice poster. But I, I guess I got to go on Redbubble.com, which I'll do that later today for all and buy stuff. But yeah, so nothing for Shield Hero really around at the time. Maybe after its first season wraps up because it is new, that might be why. Um, also, the the bag, all my Pokemon stuff came in because it's pretty sick. It's uh, your boy Pikachu, and then flip it to the other side, you have Lydon, Rowlet, and uh, what is it, Ryulu? So that's pretty cool. So the bag itself is worth keeping too. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think I have my receipt in here. Uh, Japanese receipt. Check it. Animate. I spent a lot of money. I fucked up, guys. I fucked up. But yeah, um... Yeah, so that's pretty much everything I got, as far as I can remember, except the bell that I gave to my friend. It was hand-painted and green. Um, it was pretty sick. Um, oh, let me pull the photo of my drink, actually. Let me do that. It was uh, the drink from the uh, uh, Pacella, Karaoke Pacella Cafe thing. It was pretty sick. I, had a, I thought I could keep it. That's why I bought it. But uh, it came with a little, it looked like a metal sword, like, in the drink, holding stuff together. I don't even know what was in the drink, honestly. I, I don't know, because Japanese, the uh, the person serving me knew a touch of English. I didn't want to push it, though. But, um, yeah, let me see if I can find that real quick. It was on Snapchat, I want to say. No, it was in uh, the gallery. I'm just going to browse through all these freaking photos and find it. But it was awesome. Uh, I think it was... Oh, okay, I found the cafe. Actually, you know what? I'll just show you guys all the photos I took for the cafe. I'll see if it'll show up good on here. So let's see. So here's uh, here's a photo. It's kind of kind of lit up. But that's the menu. It's not really amazing quality. This is a horrible idea. Oh, that's Akiabra. Is that um, a poster they had inside? Uh, a close-up of the menu, a little bit better resolution. Uh, the drinks. I got the sword one because I thought I could keep the sword. I could not keep the sword. And there's the actual drink. There's the sword. I didn't, I didn't, well, I don't know if I could keep it or not. I didn't want to take it and get in trouble. I want to be nice, you know. I want to be that nice tourist guy that's not a dick, so. But it reminded me of, like, kind of, oh, that's why I ate, too. That shit was good. That is, uh, I couldn't eat it with chopsticks very well, but that shit was nice. So, shit was yummy, bro. Um, there's my, uh, my meal. Give me all these sauces, and I got my fancy drink over there. That was pretty, that was some good eating. It was expensive, but it makes sense considering how much I spent. Um, oh, the Gundam Cafe. I didn't go in there, but looked pretty lit. Very cool. Um, yeah, so it was It was just a great trip. I want to go back so bad. Like, I'm having withdrawals. I want to go back, but it's going to, it's going to take a while. Um, I'd say a year and a half or two years to save up time and money. But so worth it. 100%. I do want to go back. Uh, Encrypted Night. I don't know, man. Me and you. Maybe put something together. I don't know. Uh, that'd be sick. Because you gotta go, too, man. You gotta go. Um, but yeah, it was a great experience, 100%. Um, I think Show and Tell is donezo. So, we'll probably switch back to Destiny. But I hope you enjoy the Show and Tell stuff. I'll probably actually cut this down and make it its own little video segment. Um, like, up for YouTube, just so people have it. But yeah, um, so I say we get back to Destiny, so give me just a minute to put this up all back, and we'll get shit going. So be right back, guys.